Well, let's take a look at the weather right now. Riley O'Connor has been tracking the high temperatures around the state, <laughs> and uh, the, the Willamette Valley wasn't the only place where it was warm. Uh, no, of course not. We had the mountains, a little bit of fog and some clouds out towards the coast, but all in all, statewide, it was just very warm. You take a look at these temperatures, even out towards Pendleton. We were in the 60s today. We hit a record high in Bend, also in Salem, Eugene, and Troutdale hitting record highs. Portland, we were one degree shy of a record high. When we're that close, I'm just like, oh, can we can we just get the record high? I'm like, let's just push the one degree and get it and put it on the maps. But all in all, it's a decent day. Like I mentioned, we had a little bit more clouds than what we thought would be out towards the coast. So that kept our temperatures down just a little bit. Still not bad, though. Newport at a 59 degrees in Astoria. You made it to 58. In fact, here's a time lapse from Timberline today. You made it into the 40s. You can say people out and about uh, today. Lots of sunshine throughout the afternoon hours, but we are starting to lose some of that base snow. And again, Timberline, you're at 45 inches. Meadows at 32 and Bachelor at 46. And it just does not look like we're going to see any snow in the near future. In fact, the rest of the month really looks generally dry, with the exception of maybe Wednesday bringing in a few uh, snow or a few showers. But uh, the snow levels are going to be between about 10 and 12,000 feet. Now, here's a look out towards the coast today. This is our story. You can see how foggy and cloudy it was throughout the day. We did have a few sun breaks from time to time, but all in all, this evening uh, is generally mostly cloudy right now, and you still have some fog in the area. Your temperature is in our story right now 54 degrees. We're sitting at 57 in Hood River, 58 still in Pendleton. Really the only colder spot that you notice on the map is out towards Baker City, 35 degrees. You're going to see some fog developing tonight, still sitting at 59 in Salem. Here's a live look outside in Portland right now. We're mostly uh, to partly cloudy skies. Temperatures right now 54 degrees and winds are uh, pretty light at 6 miles per hour. That's still mixing up the atmosphere a little bit. And I still think we're going to start to see some fog developing tonight as the winds calm. Right now we're sitting at 59 in Tiger. 54 in Westland and East Siders, generally in the mid 50s. So, again, a nice evening for you. And as this ridge of high pressure strengthens, Really tomorrow, we're going to continue to see the warm conditions. And the, the main thing that what I'm watching is the inversion. It is going to strengthen. So areas of the valley tomorrow could be uh, keeping the fog around for a good part of the day. So I think it's going to be clearer out towards the coast and warmer tomorrow. And then also uh, for the higher terrain up at the Cascades, getting into the possible low to mid 60s. So tomorrow I'm going 57 degrees. Again, I think we're going to end up with a mix of sun and clouds in the afternoon here in Portland. But the further south you go, I think we could be locked into more clouds and fog. But out Towards the coast, we're going to hit around 61 in Astoria. That could be a record high for you tomorrow. 62 in Seaside and right around 62 degrees in Lincoln City. Keeping it in the mid 50s tomorrow for the Valley. And again, it's just going to be uh, depending on who breaks out of that fog. Could see slightly warmer temperatures or maybe even a little bit cooler if that fog is still very dense in the afternoon hours. Big difference though between Pendleton and Baker City. You're going to see more fog tomorrow uh, in Baker City versus Pendleton. So I'm warming you up and check out Ben tomorrow. 65 degrees making up to 61 at government camp. Morning fog with partial clearing in the afternoon for the gorge right around 62 for the Dow. So not a bad week. And in fact, here's the record highs out towards the coast uh, for tomorrow and Monday. I Story is 60 degrees. I have it 61, so that could be that record for you. And then Monday, the old record of 63 back in 1983. Seaside tomorrow, 64 for your record high, and Newport is 62. So we're going to be flirting with these guys. And really, if we look at the pattern uh, for the next uh, several days, we had that big ridge in the west and that dip in the jet stream out east. And that is also going to be the culprit for maybe a big, powerful nor'easter coming in on uh, the East Coast early next week. So if you're traveling, you got to keep it update or keep uh, updated with that. Check your uh, airlines uh, as well for any cancellations. Now, looking at the seven-day forecast, the only time I see maybe a few light showers come in Tuesday evening into Wednesday. Temperature still going to be into the 50s. So all in all, not too bad of a week. Yeah, it doesn't feel like January. I'll tell you that. <laughs> not at all. All right, thanks a lot, Riley. Yeah.